All right, you guys ready for another quick unboxing video? Now, this is the Makita 7 uh, quarter magnesium circular cell. The model number is 507MG. I wonder what MG stands maybe for magnesium. Apparently, magnesium has been the, the compound, the alloy, or should I say the um, the material of choice for both the guard, the both the remote the sway guard, the upper front guard, and most importantly the plate. It gives better, you know, better weight. So I decided I had a very very small and underpowered circular so but to make more precise cuts and uh, generally to be able to handle uh, to handle bigger uh, bigger stuff better I needed uh, for quite some time I needed I needed a little bit of uh, to up my game a little bit so that's why I bought this one um, it's a very good price at Home Depot I believe comes in this nice box originally sent by FedEx uh, in my northeastern United States comes with a suitcase which for me is one probably one of the most important things because unlike any other tool circular saws are very very easy to damage I mean and especially when you're putting this in uh, a van or just dropping it some some place haphazardly in your um, in your garage you can very easily bend something and uh, break something that's why probably this is one of the few tools that it makes worthwhile to have to have a suitcase or to have a, a sturdier box comes with a nice uh, metal clasps and that's that's the box itself it has uh, Area for store it for a desk storage, uh, which is also nice. Um, you know very well that you need to protect your desks against pressure, human lateral forces. Uh, that's that's critical when you do that. Um, and that's the saw itself. That's the saw itself. The saw comes with a very nice thick plate uh, guard. Let's see what else. And a spacer here. So everything has been designed around this tool to help you with minimal efforts to cut with minimal efforts, and that's exactly what I liked about that uh, about that design. I'll show you in a second. What else it does have? It has a nice uh, nice manual warranty information. Not too detailed, not too not too wordy at the same time. Right, let's put that aside as well and let's see it does say magnesium so it must be magnesium I'll take the word for them for that it comes with a 24 teeth disc which is a very good this is very high-end high-end disc and although it's uh, 24 teeth it would last a long time um, the heat dissipation heat management on this uh, framing disc has uh, it's very good but again those are consumable so let's focus on the main things um, nice big paddle if you need to if you need to hold it hold it like this and make your cut for something more delicate or just leave it the way it is um, it requires a positive force not too much but again a distinct distinct amount of force to uh, distinct amount of force to apply um, the retainer spring is so uh, is good and even even across it seems even across the entire arc of the sway so maybe it's a double spring I don't really know um, adjustments the angle adjustment here that is a very interesting type of you know, type of solution so the paddle for the adjustment is right here where you can where you can make pretty much anything from zero degrees to is it 56 or more degrees 
let me just see. I have to see the manual, but it was uh, some kind of crazy angle, um, about 60 degrees, about 60 degrees of angle. So, yeah. So let me show you this. To me, that's crazy. Hmm. That is really crazy. All right, so. Um, the the retaining the retaining now this pedal switch is what I liked liked a lot so with this one you can you can do your incremental adjustments between 22 5 45 55 degrees and once you sway that open you can immediately you know lock that in place lock that in place right here so right at the back i don't know if you see that but once you depending on how you select that you don't need to really focus on you don't really need to focus on the exact measurements here since the 20 the, since the 22 and a half 45 and 55 degrees are the most commonly used so you just flip that wherever you like like flip that at 45 And then just loosen this pedal, and it immediately goes there. And you just tighten that and and cut your 45 degree. Or if you want to loosen that, flip that to 22 and a half degrees, open it, and it it come out open any any further. So you just tighten it with that lever, and you get 22 and a half degrees. Oh, it's to me it's a very functional, very very good solution. Uh, very good solution to have for for fast work and that's that I believe was the the number one reason why you should be why you should be buying Makita there there are others that have something something better or something worse but um, the Makitas first of all have the magnesium protector most importantly the magnesium plate and then this quick release as well, uh, quick adjustment. That adjustment is also a very, very, um, is also a very quick one, very quickly to uh, to operate. You just release that lever right here, and you can immediately you can immediately increase or decrease your depth. So what I see is. You can use this as a plunge saw because at the top, at the top of, uh, at the top, the the blade itself doesn't doesn't protrude at all. So you can easily do that if you need to make a straight cut. You need to make a straight cut here. You see, you can do that easily. You know, press and plunge it in again you should be mindful for kickback uh, i'm not advising that this is a good good solution but still some people do it i don't do it i don't operate like this but if you do you can easily easily use that this way and again this is goes all the way up from half inch from zero to Let's see what does it say. To two and a half inches, zero to two and a half inches. Now, those markings here are kind of uh, they're metal metal plates and they're glued. So originally they were not glued correctly, uh, not not correctly, but the the corners of them seem to be a little bit high. So nobody pressed them or just from storage. I'm not really certain how, but it just they were just raised a little bit so i pressed them uh, i pressed them hit them a little bit with a heat gun and pressed them and they seem to be um to be holding in nicely uh, replacing the blade with this lever press in 
unscrew that, unscrew the retaining bolt, you know very well what to do. Yep, this is a right, right hand side blade. If you're left handed like me, um, I don't know, you might, you might have some difficulties with that. Um, but again, I'm, I'm pretty confident with, uh, with how they organize that. Although I'm left handed, it's, uh, it's fine for me. It's been fine for, for a number of years. And, uh, and I just, even if I have to, even if I have to buy a new, and I had to choose between left handed, right handed, I would still use right handed, uh, right handed. So, so make sure first that make sure first that the the switch is not on before you plug any electrical equipment now the switch is not on there is also uh, there is no retaining switch here which is nice the key for unlocking is is here held in the handle there is nice nice handle here to hold it um, what else lanyard hole if you need to use one and yep that's it so let's see how how she sounds let's see that beast okay So this is the first cut with this blade. So just like a rifle trigger, you shouldn't put your trigger finger on it. This is the first cut, just a little bit of burn marks or marks from the from the oil itself. Very nice cut for very nice cut for this uh, 24 teeth blade. Phenomenal. Nice and straight, although I was just wobbling around. Yep, I was just wobbling around the corner here. Nice. It's a pretty good tool, great machine. 507 MG. Alright, thanks for watching.